Hi, it's Susan Nisley. Welcome to today's episode of I Travel Nurse TV. Nice to see you. Today's episode is a hospital review on Valley Presbyterian Hospital in Van Nuys, California, which is part of Los Angeles County. Now, I was contracted there through a company called AMP 24 Staffing Solutions out of um, Tarzana, California, which is actually LA County, County as well, or Los Angeles. And that was a relatively new company for me, and in my opinion on them, you'll have to watch the related video. Now, as far as the hospital goes, it's a cute hospital. It's a community-based hospital. It, it has a long history, um, so it's a, a older hospital and and with that maybe perhaps not as aesthetic as some of the newer hospitals that you know you may have worked at but generally speaking it, it is uh well kept it serves a population that is not um how should we say an underserved population is what they serve and so with that comes unique challenges when it comes to people who might be homeless or people that um, might not have good insurance or no insurance and that type of thing. But generally speaking, the hospital is well set up. Uh, I had a contract in the emergency room. They have a interim director, the interim director. I liked her. Um, the only problem that I had with her is that normally, under normal circumstances, you get your schedule within the first week uh, of you starting a contract and you usually know what your schedule is for at least the next two to three weeks if they're if they're still in one schedule and haven't gone on to the next or in some cases you know your whole schedule for a month because a lot of times nursing unit scheduling is based on on four week blocks now the the problem with this manager is that she was only giving me my schedule week by week and I thought that that was very very strange not only was it difficult for me to make plans um, you know it was difficult for me to even look at long-term housing options you know because I really wasn't quite sure what she was up to I don't know there was just something not right why she was not you know filling me in for for open days that they already had that they were actually using regular agency staffing to fill so something was not right with her thought process there especially when it was locked in as a 13-week contract now um the er was okay you know i had a concern with one er doctor but that was mainly not due to any type of clinical reasons that was mainly due to some personal reasons as to whether or not he might be associated um, with my son's father who has um, him and his family have worked to kidnap my little boy but that but i generally speaking um not a clinical problem with him more more of a personal problem and then um on on top of that every other er doctor seemed to be just fine in comparison to any other er doctor or group of doctors that I have worked with. So I'd have to say the ER staff, clinical-wise, seemed to know what they were doing, nursing staff and physician staff. And they seemed to work well with other departments, such as radiology and, and even with um, when you had to transport patients up to the floor. Now, the only downside that I saw from a clinical aspect was that when you had a patient that had come into the ER and then was subsequently admitted, whether that was to a med surge floor, a telemetry floor, or even to the ICU, rather than the admitting doctor coming in and writing admitting orders or the ER doctor writing admitting, admitting orders that might be good for 12 hours, you as a registered nurse had to stop your ER work and actually take orders from the admitting doctor and transcribe them. And a lot of times, I mean, that, that could take you anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes because keep in mind these days you have to go over home medications whether or not you continue them or discontinue them based on joint commission standards. So, so that little piece of it had a tendency to get you behind 
in your ER work. But other than that, they had a fast track unit and everything seemed to run very smoothly in the regular ER. They seemed to have a good relationship with the police, the LAPD, and they seemed to have a good relationship with the fire department. And I had no trouble with um, LA Fire. So, so from that aspect, everything was good. Now for me personally, I faced some discrimination as a human trafficking victim. So, so my reason for leaving Valley Presbyterian Hospital was not based on any kind of any kind of clinical um, issue or me not liking the hospital for clinical purposes, but rather I was getting discriminated against um, being a human trafficking victim by ER staff. And actually when I left the hospital and I turned in my hospital badge to the nursing office, I told them that I was resigning immediately and that was based on discrimination from the ER staff. But if you're not a human trafficking victim, if you're not a crime victim, you'll probably do very, very well working at Valley Presbyterian. But you know, if you are, just know that they're probably not going to like you. That's today's episode of I Travel Nurse TV. I'll see you next time.